it was a very sad day for Brazil. Uh, uh, soccer is our passion, soccer is our love, soccer is a religion for us. Tuesday is all about prayers for William Van Zela. He's still in shock, says he can hardly believe what happened. A plane carrying 77 people, including many members of the Brazilian Chapaquense soccer club, crashed in Colombia overnight Monday. I knew some players on the team. I was uh, the head coach was my former uh, coach back in Brazil. I was a great person on and off the field. Some passengers did survive, including a friend of Vanzela's. He's still alive. He's one of the six that uh, made it, and I keep him on my praise right now. Hopefully that he can make it. He has an amazing family back there in Brazil. Vanzela says this team was on a mission. They'd really been building up to greatness. Chapaquense used to be a regional soccer team, but they were on their first international tournament and made it to the finals. They were overjoyed in celebration just before they took this ill-fated flight. Chapaquense was scheduled to play in the finals Wednesday. That's where they were flying to. Venzela says his heart breaks for the players, team members, passengers, their families. And he'll be thinking of them often, even this Friday, when he has to get onto a plane and head to an away game in Florida. I think we're going to do exactly what we always do, is we don't want to fly. Nobody likes to fly, but we do what we love and we got to get on that plane to keep uh, follow our dreams. And that was Lacey Griffith reporting. While the main investigation does seem to be centering on a possible electrical failure on the plane, Columbia's aviation agency says the black boxes have been recovered and are now being examined.